Hey everybody, Neighbors here again. This time we're going to talk to you about hanging idle and how to fix hanging idle. We're going to go to number six, which is the pro tuning section. We're going to go to number nine, which is idle control. I'm just going to load up a, one of my calibration files. So here's where we're going to look at the settings that are most important. There's going to be three settings in particular that we're looking at. The first one being Decel Open IAC. If we find we're getting a hanging idle, the first thing we can try is to start lowering this value into the negatives. Say start with negative 10, give it a try, give it a few revs, see what you like. If you're not liking how it acts, you can actually go down to negative 20. Um, as you can see, it has quite a range, anywhere from 98 to negative 90. Um, typically, most people don't go below negative 20 or negative 30, but again, it is available to do that. The other two settings we can want to look at would be loop rate up and loop rate down. Um, if you find you want your throttle to be a little more responsive, uh, and especially around idle, you can increase both of these values. Now, what loop rate up is going to do is it's actually going to make the system a little more responsive to uh, lower RPMs at idle. So it's going to actually quick be more quick at uh, increasing the IAC motor uh, to open up and allow more air in with loop rate up. And loop rate down is again going to close the motor and uh, drop the RPMs down. So what these do is basically adjust how fast it's going to do that. I find adding about 10 to both of these values, maybe even going to like 30 on the loop rate up and 20 on the loop rate down seems to help. Do not increase them too high because if you start getting them up here, you're actually going to get it overcorrecting itself. It's going to start jumping up and down. You're going to get surging idle. You're going to have nothing but problems. So again, 30, maybe 35 on the loop rate up and again, 20, 25 on the loop rate down. Obviously, loop rate up is going to bring your RPMs up, which is a little more important than very quickly trying to bring them down. I hope that helps some of you out there.